first take, first take, first take. I wonder if we could do first take here, only do it better. Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco, home of the Dallas Cowboys. You're probably aware that I'm not a fan of all the things that uh, ESPN's first take and shows like it stand for. I, I think it's fake. It's first fake. And, and here's why. The screaming and the yelling is orchestrated. The um, you say the sky is blue, I'll say the sky is gray is orchestrated. Um, I've had plenty of people at ESPN tell me over the years that they mandate that we talk about the cow. We have to do segments on the Cowboys. We just have to. Whether it's Cowboy season, whether it's off season, whether it's a Cowboy story or not, we have to come up with something Cowboys a lot. And the reporters in particular would tell me, we, we, if, if we don't come up with something sexy, on the Cowboys, we, we don't get on Sports Center, which obviously causes you to sometimes maybe exaggerate a little bit or invent a little bit. Put some whipped cream on it, as one of my friends said. Put some whipped cream on it. So I'm in the gym this morning, and they've got the ESPN on. And by the way, what uh, whatever ESPN did 20 years ago or whatever to do that, where, where everywhere you go, it's like just the automatic... Muzak, it's televised Muzak in the background of every bar, car dealership, gym, everywhere is pretty awesome. So I'm in the gym, I'm getting jacked. And I look up and there's, a, there's the first take. And the question of the day, and they left it on the screen for a long time, and then they must have come back and talked about it for 15 minutes. Who's more important, Jerry or Dak? And my first thought to myself was, you dopes, that's so stupid. They don't, they don't do the same thing. They don't have anything to do with each other in terms of either or in the organizational chart. They need each other. And there is no, there's no, it's, there is no either or, it's just, it's silly. A, a good either or would be, you know, which one of these two, uh, here's an either or, Michael Gallup or Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper's contract is up, uh, or escapable, not up, escapable after this year. He makes $20 million a year. Would somebody else want to pay that? And could your team then create for itself that much salary cap room to go get a defensive player, and then your wide receivers are C.D. Lamb and Michael Gallup, and you don't have the three best receivers that, that you thought you did, the 3,000-yard guys, but you got two 2,000-yard guys and a better defense. That's a good either-or. Cheeto Awuzie or Xavier Woods. Let's say there's bids on both of them. I don't know that there's going to be. Let's say that you got to compete to keep both of them. And, and you'd like to find some way, but, but you realize, oh, we can't do both of them. Xavier Woods, who plays safety, but in this new defense, is going to probably be asked to be kind of a center fielder, and, and they're not sure he can do that. Basically, he's a cornerback's body and a safety's play, uh, and has not demonstrated really that he's a ball hawk. Or Chido Awuzie, who you know, they thought when they drafted him was going to be something really special, and... You know, he's been kind of a solid journeyman. Either or. But either or, Dak and Jerry pits two guys against each other in a way, in an artificial way, that taps into your emotions. It's old young. It's white black. It's mean old management versus heroic employee. Or it's greedy employee versus grandfatherly management, however you want to pick it. And I'm watching this, I'm going, you son of a bees, you know what? I'm wrong. That's brilliant. I mean, it's not fair and it's not right and it's not journalism. It's really stupid. But I watched it. I didn't have the sound on. 
can't, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to let myself like it that much. But I did watch it, so I'm reading some lips. And I don't know who was all up there, but, you know. I, they bring in Kendrick Perkins <laughs> to talk about Dak versus Jerry. Kendrick Perkins wouldn't know Dak or Jerry if Dak and Jerry bit him on the ass. But they know that he'll, he, he's learned to bring some heat. He'll, he'll say something incendiary, he'll say something funny, say something controversial, whatever. Let's bring in Dan Orlovsky, let, let him make up something. Here comes Stephen A. Smith, let him make up something. Stephen A. Smith, again, fake cowboy. Stephen A. Smith does not hate the Cowboys. He doesn't care one way or the other about the Cowboys. He realizes that, that hating the Cowboys is a good bit especially when he used to do, do a show with Skip Bayless, who pretends that he likes the Cowboys. So that's, I'll do the sky as blue. No, I'll do the sky as gray. You do it's blue. Let's remember, though, so we don't screw it up tomorrow and reverse our opinions, which, which Stephen A. Smith does all the time. He has so many opinions. They, they are so reliant on him to say so many things 20 hours a day. He can't possibly keep them all straight. And you can catch him if you want to, saying yesterday... You know, the Brooklyn Nets are going nowhere after that loss. Then the next day they win, and he goes, the Brooklyn Nets look like the best team in the East. 24 hours later, because he forgot all the million opinions that he had yesterday. Dak versus Jerry. I'm, I'm going, you know, okay, fine. Fine. I give in. Let's play. Do we mean who's more important to the 2021 season? Dak Prescott is more important to the 21 season. If Jerry went and got on, a, got on his yacht, his quarter of a million dollar yacht, and just went and sailed over to Greece, the, the, the football slack would be picked up. Not the marketing slack, it'd be harder, but Stephen and Will McClay and Mike McCarthy would run the football program. So in that sense, Dak's more important. Jerry could be replaced as the general manager by Steven more easily than Dak could be replaced at quarterback by Cooper Rush. So that one's easy. Who's more important to the long-term health of the Dallas Cowboys? That's a little tougher. If you're a Jerry hater, you're, you're like, no, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take Dak. I get it. But, but he is a pro football Hall of Famer who helped invent half of the stuff that we all do now in football and half of the things that they do to make money in football and in sports. That is kind of important. Uh, whose legacy is more important? Does that matter? We're not going to be able to beat... Nobody's going to beat Jerry Jones' legacy. I, I, I can't... I don't know that there's a player on this Dallas Cowboys roster that could ever do that. I don't know that there's very many players in the entire NFL that could ever do that. So... There I am, uh, there I go again, making a mistake of taking it seriously. <laughs> Dak versus Jerry, who's more important? The good news is, and you'll find this out in an upcoming uh, video visit with Bree and myself, we, we do have a mini scoop on where Cowboys negotiations are, in a sense, with Dak Prescott. This is good news uh, in, its own little, in its own little thimble. Uh, and, and that's the... Dak versus Jerry that actually matters. That's the one that's not just a TV game show. Um, it, it's the negotiation table and, and how that's going to come out. And again, even that, the Max Kellermans have no idea who actually is sitting at the negotiation table for, for the Cowboys because it's not Jerry on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, Dan Orlovsky can't know that. Kendrick Perkins can't know that. Stephen A. Smith can't know that. Uh, you, by hanging out here with tw almost 21,000 of us, you get to know that. Uh, ahead of them, smarter than them, better than them, faster than them, deeper than them. And I appreciate that you hang out with us so we can share our notes. Dak versus Jerry is a silly game show. And I, I hope I haven't spent a few minutes too much on it because it's fun and it's silly if you put it in that perspective. Dak versus Jerry is really, when it comes to the negotiating table, the Joneses versus Dak. 
and I still believe that there's good news a coming. And then what's ESPN going to talk about? Fish out. <laughs>